everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome to a very special video. So a couple of days ago now, Monster Hunter Stories released on mobile devices in Japanese. Sadly, this is region locked. I did try and download it on my iPad, but it came up with a message saying, you are not from this region, you cannot download this game. So sadness, but anyways, I am going to go ahead and watch the trailer for the Japanese mobile version of Monster Hunter Stories on this video and obviously I'm going to be reacting for the first time to that in this video as well. After that we're going to take a look at some of the changes, upgrades and discuss those in this video. So feel free to join in on the conversation down below in the comments section guys. Does this mean, does this mean we are going to get a Nintendo Switch version? I don't know. Share your thoughts down below guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to be checking out the Monster Hunter Stories mobile trailer from the Capcom channel on YouTube. So let's go ahead and line things up and then I will go and press play. Okay, so they've even remastered the opening cinematic in the game, which is really nice. Oh my god, it looks so crisp and lovely! I'm really, really hoping this gets localised in English. Wow. Oh my god. Look how crisp the lines are. And I think it runs in 60 frames per second as well, guys. So a very smooth experience. Oh my gosh. They've done a lot of rework, it seems, as well. Like, you know, you can really tell. Okay, some differences with the UI there. We'll take a more in-depth look at this after the trailer. Oh my god. And it looks so smooth. None of the lag the 3DS gets, obviously. I don't even care if it came out on the Nintendo Switch. I would totally pay full price just to play this game with these upscale graphics and the rework put into this. And just for the smooth gameplay as well and PvP. Oh my god. Why is it region locked? Why? <laughs> Damn it. It just looks so nice, so smooth, so nice, so crisp. The characters look so crisp. <laughs> right, so the mobile version is actually going to get patched with all of the DLC and stuff, guys, as well, from what I've heard. Um, but yeah, wow, that just looks so damn nice. There we go, like, let's just fast forward a bit and just look at the crispness, the quality. Oh my God, this is how Monster Hunter stories should have been played, really. Um, so let's just skim through this a second and check out some new stuff. So from what I've read on forums and things, it runs in 60 frames a second. So it is a very smooth experience. And obviously you can play this on iOS and I'm not sure about Android, but I know that I could check it out on my iPad, but because it's region locked, I wasn't able to download it. So you can get it on the Apple store, but um, okay. So let's see, we've got the map here in the top right hand corner. So I'm guessing if you click on that, you should be able to get the map up full screen. Maybe I don't know. Um, then we've got some information on the left hand side here. So this clearly is the option to ride your monster. Then I'm guessing Navi is uh, like you can speak to Navi and get some information. I don't know what the tent is because there wasn't a fast travel feature on the 3DS version. Now a tent to me would mean 
basically a quick save or something like that. So maybe there is a quick save feature on this game because it is on mobile, I don't know. That could be a new feature. Um, if you guys have any speculation on that, let me know down below in the comments. But again, the Navi, I think, could just be information from Navi if you get stuck or lost and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what this feature is down here because obviously you're using the touch control. So you're going to have to touch the screen to run around and stuff. So that might be to do with that. So now that I've skipped to this part of the video... We can see the rider on Korapeko and there's some other symbols on the right hand side here. So yeah, this looks like at the top the map can be minimised and enlarged so it doesn't take up as much of your screen. That makes sense because you've got one screen instead of two on a mobile device. And then we've got these icons in the lower right hand corner here. So this one clearly is dismount your monster because it's got a monster icon with a little down arrow and then the hunter on the ground. So that's clearly dismount. Then this one here, I'm wondering if that's your monster's skill. So it's field skill like fly or breaking a rock or digging, stuff like that. But again, I'm not overly sure what the little person icon is. I don't know. Maybe it's to activate run. Um... That would make sense since you are using a tablet thinking about it. You have to use the touch features to run around. So maybe you toggle on and off run, you know? So you're walking and then you click that and then you turn to run. That's my assumption. That's just some speculation, to be honest. So at this point in the video, we can clearly see that we've got all of the usual options on the screen here. So we've got command monster there, we have commands the hunter, we have use items, we have switch monster, and here we have fight, and we also have the kinship stone as well, charging up the kinship there. I'm not sure what the smileys are. I'm wondering if that's the option to use stickers, because in PvP mode, you do have the option to use stickers in combat, so that could be that. And then in the top right-hand corner, we also have what looks like the flee option. So if you don't want to finish the fight, if you're a coward, <laughs> or if you just want to concede defeat, you can click this option here in the top corner as well. So we've definitely still got head-to-heads here um, and there's also some other features just popping up on the screen as well. If I just fast forward to this. So this is when you have to really hammer the shoulder buttons of the 3DS when it's an aerial showdown. But because you don't have shoulder buttons on a tablet, it looks like we have power, tech, and speed here. So I'm wondering if you are supposed to hammer the one that defeats power because at the top it says power there. So maybe if you kept hammering speed, you would win that head-to-head -head showdown. I don't know. It's in Japanese. I can't read Japanese. So if anybody can let me know any clarification on that, just feel free to post it down below in the comments section. And it is getting all of the DLC updates that the 3DS version already has and also the Riders update that you can see on screen here. So it is the full version of the game and as far as I know it's considerably cheaper as well on mobile devices. I'm guessing that's because they're assuming not as many people want to buy it so they don't want a high entry point when purchasing this game. But um there's a few more things I want to share as well, guys, but I'm going to be using screenshots for those because it wasn't included in this trailer. So this is an image on Google Images. If you type in Monster Hunter Stories Mobile, you'll find a couple of different images like this. So just from looking here, once again, there is a head-to-head -head showdown on this bottom screen here. I think that is just the land one, you know, where they're running at each other to kind of like headbutt. So this is something else I wanted to show since it wasn't in the trailer. So it does look like it's kind of like 
converted that into almost like a rhythm game. So I'm assuming that you need to just tap all of the floating tendencies on the screen. So power, power, tech, power, power, and make sure you tap all of those and then you win. I don't know. Again, if anybody has clarification on that, feel free to share down below in the comments. Do I think there'll be a Nintendo Switch version of Monster Hunter Stories? Well, I guess it depends on how good the sales are for the mobile version in Japan and also maybe on localization for the West as well. I really hope so. I mean, like I said, when watching the trailer, there's definitely a lot of work that has gone into remastering the game and making it look crisp and play smoothly on iOS and mobile devices. So, you know, it could work really well on the Switch. I've said all along I've always wanted a Monster Hunter Stories version on Nintendo Switch. There was actually that rumour floating around before it released as well that they were doing a Switch version. In fact, I remember when I first started streaming it, I had people saying, Kylie, why aren't you playing the Switch version? And I was just like, if there was a Switch version, trust me, I would be playing that version, but there isn't one. So fingers crossed, Capcom, for the love of God, if you're watching this please please port this mobile version to the switch it looks fantastic i would totally buy the game again at full price and especially if you can transfer your save over to the switch version as well which i see no reason why you wouldn't be able to do to be honest they've had various ways of doing that before where you could transfer your save data between the wii u version and the 3ds version of free ultimate so that is possible and uh yeah i just think i just think and hope that this comes out for the nintendo switch if it isn't going to come out i at least hope it's going to get localized for mobile devices i would totally rebuy it on my ipad and play it with those crisp vibrant graphics guys so let me know your thoughts and opinions would you pick this up on your mobile device if it was to get localized in english or would you much prefer a Nintendo Switch version? Speak up in the comments. Let's get this heard. We want a Nintendo Switch version of Monster Hunter Stories. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to check out any gameplay of Monster Hunter Stories, I have covered it extensively, the complete game, and I'm still doing DLC as well. So if you do want to see some gameplay, check out the Let's Play playlist down below in the video description. And also, if you want to support my channel, do check out the other information and links in the video description as well, guys. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and responding to you as always. Don't forget to sub and join Team GGK today if you love Monster Hunter content. I am a massive fan, obviously. I'm going to be doing way more Monster Hunter coverage here on Gadget Girl Kylie. So if that does tickle your pickle, <laughs> your Devil Joe pickle, don't forget to sub and join Team GGK and also tap that bell to turn on notifications, guys. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy and I shall see you next time.